Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.2, Apple's latest firmware, Untethered Using Evasion. Now this jailbreak tutorial will also function on 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, 6.1, .1, and 6.1.1. So essentially any iOS 6 firmware, and it will also function on any iDevice that can upgrade past 6.0, which does include the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the fifth generation iPod Touch, the fourth generation iPod Touch, the iPad Mini, the fourth generation iPad, the third generation iPad, and the iPad 2. Now before we begin, it's important to mention that you need to have the latest version of iTunes downloaded on your computer. And if you've already jailbroken a previous iOS 6 firmware using Evasion and you wish to upgrade and jailbreak with the latest Evasion utility, then you have to actually fully restore to iOS 6.1.2. Also, if you updated to any of the iOS 6 firmwares via Apple's over-the-air update feature, again, what you'll have to do is restore to 6.1.2 inside of iTunes. And the procedure to do that is very simple. Just take your device and plug it into your computer via your USB cable, create a backup inside of iTunes. Once your backup has been created, download and restore to the latest 6.1.2 firmware and jailbreak. Once you've successfully jailbroken, then you can go back to iTunes and restore from your iTunes backup to retrieve all of your previous information. All right, now that all of that's out of the way, in order to jailbreak, you will need to download the latest version of Evasion. So I'll have a link to a post on my website down below in the more info that contains download links to Evasion for Windows and OS X based computers alike. And once you have Evasion downloaded, if you're on Windows, you'll need to unzip it and place the content somewhere that's easy to access. If you're on OS all you have to do is just mount the image file and then run the Evasion application, which I'm going to do right now. All right, now that Evasion is open, we're greeted with this very simple screen and it just prompts us to plug in our iDevice. All right, now that I've zoomed in, it's time to show you guys that I am indeed on iOS 6.1.2 on my iPhone 5. As you can see, I'm in the general about portion of the settings application, and down below for the version, it does confirm that I am indeed on 6.1.2. And clearly, this is an iPhone 5. All right, now that we've come this far, simply plug your device into your computer via your USB cable. And if iTunes or anything else pops up, you can just minimize it or close out of it. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what it means to jailbreak. So now that your device is plugged in, you have Evasion open, simply click the jailbreak button on the right. All right, now it's just retrieving and generating the data to prepare the jailbreak. Okay, and right now it's waiting for the device to reboot. And as you can see over here inside of Evasion, it says, do not touch your device. Now, essentially that just means to refrain from touching any of the physical buttons on your device as it may interfere with the jailbreak process. So you can still touch your device just as long as you don't unplug it and as long as you don't interact with the buttons. Okay, now that the iPhone is rebooted, do not unlock it. I repeat, do not unlock it. Just let Evasion do its thing. Again, I'm not going to cut anything out of this video. I'm just going to let it play through so you guys can see exactly how long it will take. Right now it's on step two out of three of the injecting stage two jailbreak data. Okay, now it's actually uploading files that are crucial to Cydia, which obviously is what you get when you actually jailbreak. Now right here, as you can see, it says to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon only once. Now this part is definitely crucial. So I'm going to unlock my iPhone 5 here, and as you can see, Evasion has automatically placed a new jailbreak icon on my springboard, and it has the Evasion jailbreak icon. So like it says inside of Evasion, simply tap jailbreak once. So I'm going to do that right now, and it will look like the app crashes. Don't worry, that's fine. Do not tap it again. It's still going through the jailbreak process over here inside of Evasion.
All right, now that it's injecting the final jailbreak data, it should reboot after this, and you should see a series of white evasion jailbreak screens. Now, don't worry if you don't see them, I'll show you how to fix it a little bit later, more toward the end of this video. But for now, like I said, I'm just going to let this video play through, and I'm going to show you guys approximately how long each step should take. Inside of Vasion, it says it's actually done with the jailbreak and it has completed the jailbreak process. However, I still recommend leaving your device plugged in so you won't encounter any issues. All right, and as you can see, this is what I was talking about. You should get a series of messages on a white evasion jailbreak screen for a second, and then it should go back through the reboot process, and you'll see another series of screens, which should be up for slightly longer. As you can see, we now have the second evasion jailbreak screen up. All right, now my iPhone 5 is back up, and it's basically just as easy as that. And you can now close out of Evasion on your computer. All right, and scrolling over to the second page of my springboard here, you'll notice I have Cydia. I'm going to open it up, and it's going to go through the preparing file system process, and Cydia will automatically exit once it completes, and your device should respring. Do not touch your home or power buttons during the preparing file system process. Just let your iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch do its thing, and Cydia will automatically force a respring once it's complete. All right, now that we're back up, I'm just going to go back inside of Cydia and show you guys that I am indeed on an iPhone 5 on 6.1.2. At the bottom of Cydia, the identifier tag is set to iPhone 5 iOS 6.1.2 Cydia 1.1.8. Okay, and like I promised earlier, if you do not get those white evasion jailbreak screens, simply leave your device plugged into your computer via your USB cable, and if they haven't popped up after about 10 or 15 minutes, then simply hold down the home and power buttons together. You should see a black screen appear on your device and continue to hold them through that black screen until you see the Apple logo again. And then once your iDevice boots up, you should have Cydia and you should be successfully jailbroken. And like I said, at the beginning of this tutorial, this is an untethered jailbreak, which means you do not need the assistance of a utility to reboot your device every time you need to power it off and then turn it back on. You can just simply reboot. All right, and before I conclude, if you're lost after jailbreaking or maybe you don't know what to get from Cydia or you don't know what you can do with a jailbroken iDevice, then just be sure to click on one of the annotations that should be on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube and you'll be automatically taken to one of my top Cydia tweaks videos, which contain tweaks that work on the latest from and the latest iOS based devices. All right, now that's it for this tutorial and I hope it helped you guys jailbreak. Don't forget you can still enter to win a $100 iTunes gift card simply by rating this video up and leaving a relevant comment down below in the comment section. And once your comment has been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And finally, to be updated more often, just be sure to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.